Hi everyone. Uh, so from issue five, we've been listening to your comments and we've decided that we're going to try and make the file system for the SVGs a little bit easier to manage. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what we've done, the changes that we've made. So we're going to go into retrieve data. I plug my USB in on the side over here. Right into retrieve data, click on the USB icon. And then this is just one project that I've put on here, which is the floor bouquet one. And I click in there and you're going to notice an instant difference. So we've now made it so you've got two folders, your project files and your stash files. Your project files, if we click into there, that's everything that you need to work on the project that you can see in the magazine. So no matter what the project's got in it, this is where it's going to be. You've got your acetate layer, which is going to be in the acetate folder. Click into here. And we've just called it acetate as well, so it's easy to find. Click back one. And we've got our Charisma folder, so that's going to be where you've got all your colour card um, Charismas. You've got also your die Charismas in there as well. So if we click in there, you can see we've got Charisma A, B, C, D and E for this project. Click back up from that one. You've got your draw folder, that's got your draw file in there for your sentiment. So that's already done and it's labelled the, what the sentiment actually says. Go back one more. And then you've got your white folder, so that's everything that's going to be cut out of white card. Um, so on here we've got our card blanks, which is card blank 1 and card blank 2, that will make the one card. And you've also got front mat layer 4, so it's going to be the fourth mat layer going up. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go back again, and we're going to go into the stash files. So the stash files are there for you to make the project out of anything you've got in your card stash. In this one, you've got the detailed designs of the dies rather than the charisma. Um, and you've also got all your layers now named. So they're much easier to find. So you can see we've got our acetate layer on here. You've got the bow, the butterflies, card blank one and two, the first front mat. We've got the second front mat, the third, the fourth, and then the mats on the inside of your card as well. We've called the inner mats and you've got one and two. So it just means when you're looking at the project in the magazine, you've got a bit of a reference point for which layer is which. Um, so now if you know you want to cut mat layer, uh, front mat four, let's say, out of a card stock that you've already got or out of a backing paper that you've got stashed away somewhere, this means that you can go into here, find that exact layer really, really easily, pop it onto your mat and cut it out. Uh, so hopefully this helps make life a lot easier for you. Um, and thanks again for watching.